Hi friends, today in this topic we are going to discuss about the SN curve. It is an important curve which is used to determine the endurance limit SE of a material. So we can find out the value of endurance limit by using the SN curve. Here we will show how to find out the endurance limit and in SN curve this type of curve is obtained when the failure points are plotted by using the fatigue testing machine. A specimen is fitted in the fatigue testing machine and the failure points are plotted here shows the failure point. So a best line which fits these failure curve data is used to find out the endurance limit of the material. So this is the best line which fits the failure point and these were the failure point denoted by the cross. So this graph gives us the value of endurance limit and we will see how we will find out the value of the endurance limit. Okay, so let us see the concept. Now this SN curve is drawn for the case of steel and the failure point of the graph are denoted by this line. Okay, every point on this line will denote a failure point. Now let us see what is the S represent here. Actually S represent the stress amplitude for failure and N represent the stress cycle for failure. That is the number of cycle of stress that are required for the failure. Okay friends, so let us see this. The value of N is plotted here on the X axis and the value of S is plotted on the Y axis. Now friend, let us see how we will find out the endurance limit. Suppose, first of all, let us understand this graph. After that, we will find out how to determine the endurance limit. Suppose this is the value of stress that is denoted by S1 and corresponding to this S1, there will be a value on the Y axis for N1. Okay, friends. So this S1 denotes the stress amplitude for failure corresponding to N1 cycle. Okay friend. Now suppose there is a point S2 that denotes the stress amplitude for the failure of the component that is a steel specimen corresponding to the N2 cycles. Similarly there will be a point 3 here. This was point 1 and this was point 2 which has stress amplitude S3 and the failure cycle were N3. So it was like that. There will be point F, S4, S5, S6. So uh, other point S4 will also be there. S5 will also be there. So we have the data for that. So the uh, graph is constructed using those data for S1, S2, S3, N1, N2, N3. So these are the thing that are used in the graph to show the failure point. So once we have uh, plotted this graph using this data for S1, S2, S3 and N1, N2, N3, then ultimately we will reach a point denoted by E here. There was 1.1 1 .1 here, point 0.2 here, point 3, 3 was here. There, there will arrive a point E at which the value of stress amplitude is SE and the number of cycle that is the value of the n obtained here is 10 raised to power 6. So this point will be called as the point at which the material will fail at a considerable number of cycles. So this point will be called as the endurance limit because 10 raised to power 6 cycles are considered to be enough so that the component can sur survive for a longer period of time. So we will take SE here as the endurance limit because the material is not failing at a considerable number of cycle. Below the value of SE that is if the stress is suppose S5 then we can see that there is no point there is no portion of the graph that the line which is path which is drawn from the S5 and horizontal to the X axis will intersect. So at any stress below the SE value the component will not fail it will survive for infinite number of cycle but for the sake of simplicity we will take 10 raised to power 6 cycle as the value of the infinite number of cycle 
so the value corresponding to 10 raised to power 6 cycle will be called as the uh, stress amplitude for stress amplitude is called as the endurance limit so we have obtained the endurance limit using this particular diagram so an SN diagram is used to compute the value of endurance limit for a specimen now this diagram can be uh, can take another form that I am explaining to you suppose we know that the equation of the straight line we are writing the equation for the straight line for this like y is equal to mx plus c now we know that the value of y is log 10 s this is the s scale actually okay that is it denote log 10 s that is the stress amplitude and m is the slope of this line and x is log 10 n and c is here a constant suppose c can be written as log 10 a okay where a is also a constant now we can uh, simplify this by doing log 10 n raised to power m can be taken here m will go the here and log 10 a is written like this now what we will do we will write log 10 s is equal to log 10 a guys using the formula n raised to power m into a now log log will cancel out and we will arrive at an expression s is equal to n raised to power m a so this is the formula which can be used to generate another graph and which will be equivalent to this graph and we will do this uh, in the manner like plotting the value of the failure stress amplitude denoted by s and the number of cycle corresponding to that failure amplitude of stress and we will plot this graph like this where n is the number of cycle here and s is the stress amplitude and here the graph is become a, uh, a symptom uh, uh, asymptotes here so we it will corresponding to 10 is to power 6 cycle and this is endurance limit so here tangent will meet the graph at infinity so this point will be considered as the endurance limit so this was all for this topic so friend i hope you like the video and if you like the video you can subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon